In this video, you're going to learn how to tell whether an equation has symmetry with the x-axis, y-axis, or origin. It could be one, two, all three, or none of them. And we're going to go through three examples to help you understand this concept. So these are called algebraic tests. And what you can do is you can make some substitutions. So if you were to place x in the equation with x and y with negative y, and when you simplify, if you get the original equation back, that tells us that the graph is going to be symmetric about the x-axis, meaning if you fold it over that x-axis, it's going to match with itself, a perfect match. For the y-axis symmetry, the test is you replace x with negative x, and you leave the y the same. And if you get the original equation back, it's symmetric with respect to the y. And then the origin, you replace x with negative x, y with negative y. And if you get back the original, uh, then it's going to be symmetric about the origin. Again, it could be more than once. So you're going to want to test all three. Now, if you get stuck, sometimes it helps to look at some basic equations like y equals x squared, x equals y squared, and y equals x cubed. So, for example, here we can see that this is symmetric about the y-axis, right? If we fold it over this, it matches with itself. And notice here, if I replace x with negative x, a negative x to quantity squared gives you the same thing, x squared. And y replaced with y, see how we're getting that original equation back x equals y squared is a reflection over the x-axis. Here you can see if you um, replace y with negative y and square it, that's going to give you a positive y squared. x stays x. You can see you get back the original equation. And y equals x cubed is a rotation, 180 degree turn about the origin. See, if you put your finger here and turn it, it will match perfectly. And here what we're doing is replacing x with negative x, y with negative y, and when you simplify that, you'll get back the original equation. So diving into the three examples, what do you think for number one? Well, let's start with x-axis symmetry. So if we replace y with negative y, and we replace x with just x, does that look like the original equation? Well, you can rearrange it by multiplying through by negative one, just to get y by itself. But when you look at this, you say, hmm, is this the same as the original here? No, you can see these signs are actually the opposite. So we know it's not symmetric with the x-axis. Let's do the y-axis test. Okay, so here we're replacing y with y and x with x. And when you do that substitution, you want to put x, uh, the negative x in parentheses. You want to treat it like a group. So here you can see a negative times a negative times a negative six times, right? That's going to give us a positive x to the six. Same thing here, a negative to an even power, that's going to be positive. And it looks like we're getting the exact same equation. So you can see it is symmetric with respect to the y-axis, okay? And so now, uh, let's just see, so we'll just write y. And then for the origin, we're going to make them both negative. So we're going to replace y with negative y, x with negative x. And let's see if we get the original back. Well, let's see, this one we know is going to be positive x to the sixth, positive x to the fourth, and negative y. If we multiply through by negative one again to get that y by itself, you can see we're not getting the original equation. So it looks like it's just y-axis symmetry in this case. Okay, number two, see if you can do this one. y equals two times x to the fifth minus x. Now, of course, you, if you have a graphing calculator, you can always graph these and you can see, you know, is it symmetric with respect to the x, y, or origin, or maybe two or three of those? The other way you can do it, of course, is doing the test, but sometimes students forget, like, which test do I use? So another way to remember these tests here is start off with your uh, basic point, x comma y. If you reflect it over the x-axis, see how we're still going right x, but now we're going down y, see the negative y? So this is our test here for the symmetric about the x-axis. If we reflect it over the y-axis, see, instead of going right x, we're going left x, see the opposite of x, but we're going up the same height, the same y value. So that's our test for the uh, y-axis symmetry. And then the origin, if we're rotating it 180 degrees about the origin. It's like a half turn. And so here you can see what's happening is we're going, instead of right x, we're going left x. Instead of going up y, we're going down y. So you can see both the x and the y values are the opposite sign. So sometimes this graph here, or this picture here, can kind of help you remember the test. But for number two, let's go ahead and start with x-axis symmetry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace y with negative y, and x is going to remain the same. If I multiply through by negative 1, does this look like the original equation? No, you can see the signs are the opposite. So it's not symmetric with respect to the x. How about the y-axis? Well, the y-axis, now what we're going to do is we're going to replace y with y and x with negative x. 
Now remember, I like to always, when I'm doing the substitutions, I like to put them in parentheses. So now we've got a negative to an odd power, which is negative. And so this is going to give us a negative 2x to the fifth. And a negative times a negative is a positive. Does that look like our original equation? No. Okay, last one, the origin, we're going to make them both negative. So here we have replace y with negative y, x with negative x. And let's simplify. So we have negative y. This came out to negative 2x to the fifth because a negative to an odd power. Negative times a negative is a positive. And if we multiply through by negative 1, this is going to give us positive y equals 2x to the fifth minus x, which you can see is the same as the original one. So we know it's a respect to the origin. It's a 180 degree rotation about the origin. Okay, see if you can do this last example here. We've got 6 plus x times y to the fourth power equals 0. And while you're doing that, if you're new to the channel and we're meeting for the first time, my name is Mario of Mario's Math Tutoring, and my goal for this channel is really to help you to make learning math less stressful so you can raise your grade, pass your class, and go on to pursue your dreams. So I'm a full-time math tutor. I work with students every day in my local area, helping them with their math, and I try to take what I learn about what helps students the best with these different types of problems in these different types of math classes and distill it down and put it into these lessons on YouTube here so that you can benefit from my tutoring as well. So if that's something that you're interested in, check out more math videos on my Mario's Math Tutoring YouTube channel. But let's go through this last example together. Let's start off with doing the x-axis symmetry test. So if we replace x with x, y with negative y, Let's see, a negative to an even power is positive. So that one looks like it's giving us back the original equation. So it looks like this is symmetric with respect to the x-axis. Let's check the other ones, though, as well. So here, if we do the y-axis test, we're going to replace x with negative x, y with positive y. And here you can see uh, y to the fourth is going to be y to the fourth times negative x is negative x y to the fourth. Does that look like the original? No, because we have this minus sign here, so it's not symmetric with respect to the y-axis. How about the origin? Here we're making both the x and the y uh, the opposite. And so you can see a negative to an even power that's positive y to the fourth times negative x. And if we simplify here, this is 6 minus xy to the fourth. Does that look like the original? No, we have that minus here again. So it looks like it's just x-axis symmetry. The other thing that you oftentimes learn when you're learning about these algebraic symmetry tests is this idea, this concept of even functions and odd functions. So I'll link to my video on even and odd functions and how to tell which one it is uh, in that video right there. So follow me to that video and we'll dive into that.